night, chat. Good morning, evening, day, good day, good day, mate. We are gathered here today to celebrate the life of the Icky 68 Aurora. So this is currently in group buy. Like it literally opened today. So I have with those creams, that's what our uh, first build is gonna be with, uh, I think. And then if we have time. <laughs> All right, really quick. This is a nice case. It feels like um, my grandma's car. Back. All right, so let's go through some options together. Let me pull up the options page. So these are the options. So you can get a brass plate, an FR4 plate, a PC plate, and all of these are fairly cheap uh, other than obviously the brass plate, which is 30 bucks, still fairly cheap. FR4 is 20, PC is 20, 18 technically, but we're gonna round up. Uh, a million different PCBs, um, depending on what you want. Um, and then you have the brass weight stabs, silicone gasket set and prong gasket set. There's a lot of options. And then um, you also, so it explained the difference between the PCBs. So the Fairbanks PCB is a hot swap PCB. And then with this particular layout, the yellow knife is uh, soldered, but same sort of idea as the Fairbanks. And then Lapland also offers per-key lighting and Tromso offers Bluetooth. So you can get Bluetooth with this. I don't believe my PCB does Bluetooth, so we can't test that, but it should be fine. Is it a plastic case? I don't have pour on gaskets to test with you. Um, that's okay. We only have the silicone ones. We can't play around with that. All we can really play around with is the plate. Um, the other thing is you can DIY your own badge, and I believe the default badge this will come with is not the badge that I have. Um, it's actually the Wave badge. Let me kind of show that to you. So this is the badge that will come with by default, and this is the Mizu badge. And so like there's there's four different options, technically three, because I think Mizu sold out on all vendors, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so there's the charcoal, the mint, and the Aurora. Uh, it starts at 129, which is a very competitive price point, especially for what you get. Um, Aurora is more than that because it also comes with switches and stabs. How different is the feel between a gasket mount versus leaf spring mount board? So a lot of gasket mounted boards actually have leaf spring mounts specifically and especially with their brass plates. You see that in Kiko, they leaf spring mount their brass plates so they can get a little bit more out of their gaskets as far as flex goes. Um, so saying either or is kind of a misnomer because leaf springs were developed by Wibotech uh, and, and Kiko and, and the like um, in order to make the most out of metal plates but make them a little bit nicer to type on. Um, specifically in tandem with gaskets. And so this is what the back of the PCB looks like. One thing I do want to make a note of is I believe there will be more LEDs on the final PCBs than there are on the prototypes. So that's something to keep in mind. So there is um, silicone in between the PCB uh, and the plate, as you can see here. But this, this mid piece will be clear uh, for the actual production run. So when you build a hot swap board, something literally nobody tells you because you haven't dealt with repairing things like I have, please, please, please listen, okay? I'm begging you if you take one thing away from the stream, let it be it. If you can, please take out your PCB and plate assembly and hold the hot swap sockets from behind while pushing the, the switch into the PCB and plate. If you do not, especially with a lot of the factory assembled boards that have been coming out recently, a lot of them have really weak solder joints. This one looks okay, um, but I also don't think this was done by a factory. This looks like it was done by hand, and I think it might be different from the actual run. So I don't want to like, just in general, it is a really, 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 really good idea. Because if you do not, there is a high chance that you will pop the socket off or pop the entire pad off depending, especially if you misalign a switch when you're pushing it in. So please hold your hot swap socket from behind when you're inserting a switch, please. I'm begging you for the sake of your keyboard and your wallet, do that for me. What lube do you use for your keycaps? Nino. What? Rainbow Six too toxic? Have you met my Twitch chat? Stabilizer screws are like the left sock of the keyboard world. Where do they all go? You use O-rings when you install screw-in stabs, right? So the point of 
O-rings, the point of those washers, those fiber and plastic washers, is to isolate the screw from any uh, pads to prevent any shorting from happening. That is not necessarily necessary. You know, if there is no short, if they aren't making contact, you don't need those washers. Um, if you don't know how to check for that, just put a washer on everything. How is keycaps in 2025? Oh, in 2025, we have the new alternative GMK sets uh, that come in cherry profile in our uh, reverse, reverse, reverse die subs. And they're only $30 for excellent quality, um, and they're called Sugma. Oh no, guys. He did it. Hexacorn asked. Hexacorn did the thing. Hexacorn says, what's Sugma? Well, well, thanks so much for asking, Hex. Appreciate you. Sugma balls. Got him. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't say that with a straight face. I'm hilarious, thank you. I'm fucking brilliant. Hominy genius. Will this switch make me better at Fortnite? No, because you're fucking terrible. What's the best gaming switch? Your mum. I do like how they implemented um, the gasketing in terms of it being pressure fit into sockets so you can, you can easily swap them out without having to like replace them, um, if that makes sense. I dig it. I feel like this is very good for people who are trying to figure out what they like, um, which makes it a very excellent beginner board. You know, if you're trying to figure out what type of gaskets you like, if you're trying to figure out what type of plate you like, um, if you want to figure out what type of switches you like, this is all very conducive. If you like want to figure out whether or not you like um, foam in between, well, foam stuff in between your plate and your PCB or behind your PCB, like this is all very excellent um, for somebody who is trying to figure out what they want out of keyboards. Um, so I'm 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 digging this. I can already feel the scratchy comments coming from people who don't understand how freshly lubed cream sounds. I, like, I can feel it in my bones. Oh, it sounds scratchy. Okay, buddy. But beyond that, it sounds really good. This is a really, really, really solid option for somebody entering a hobby. Somebody who doesn't have a keyboard or wants a really flexible keyboard to figure out what they want. Um, I think it's awesome. Uh, there's so much variation you can do just in regards to like changing out the gaskets, where the gaskets are positioned. I think this is actually a really good co ho the, 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 a really good option to learn what keyboards are about really easily. So you don't have to build like 500 keyboards like I did so you can understand how keyboards work, right? And how sound, certain things affect sound and, you know, different placements of gaskets affect sound and different types of gaskets and different types of plates and different types of switches. I feel like this is a really, really solid practice keyboard. All right, 10 fast fingers typing test. Let's go. This is um, creams in the aluminum plate uh, with the silicone in between the PCB and the plate and all of the gaskets just for fun. Let's go. for 129 fucking bucks am i right solid sounding board that's not even that's literally just like completely like i haven't even toned it at all like that's literally just like eh, what the fuck i'll just slap some fucking switches in this <laughs> it's creams guys it's creams 
<laughs> Do you know how hard it is to find a board that sounds good with creams? Just like keep that in mind, all right? How's the feel though? I mean, like this is an aluminum plate, so it's not the best for texting. Flex, and I have the silicone gaskets in, which are not very flexy either. So as far as like flex and soft typing feel, this was not built for that. I will try it with the polycarb plate and report back as far as typing feel goes. Um, I wish we had the pour on gaskets because that's the one that's kind of tricky to get as far as the feel goes, but it's fine. Um, overall though, it's pretty fucking good. Mod sound test? Yeah, sure. Um, we're going to skip over the enter because I did not cut the silicone. Well, okay, we'll do the enter, but it's going to be sluggish because the silicone is rubbing it. That's my bad. They're fixing that for the actual run. That's, that's, that's the scuffed one. I love this keyboard. The only thing I don't like is the layout, but if you guys have heard me talk about the icky before, you know I hate this layout. Besides that, <laughs> I think this board, and that's like a personal preference thing, so it doesn't really matter. Um, as far as what actually matters, this board is impressive as shit. I love it. Why do you hate the layout? This, literally, like, that, literally that. That bothers me so much. <laughs> what is the empty slot next to the arrow keys? Um, it's for DIY chips with different patterns, is my understanding. Like, make your own logo and solder in an L LED. If it, it's in your budget and it's something that you were considering, my opinion is go for it. Uh, and it's very rare that I just outright, like, just say go for it. I think this is a really solid option and it'd be really hard to go wrong with it. Have a wonderful night, everybody. I hope you have an excellent day. I hope you eat some good food. I hope you get some good sleep. Have a wonderful night. Goodbye, friends.